So if we have a list of numbers in scientific notation and they're all positive, which they are here, um, and the exponents are positive, so everything's positive, positive values, and we have positive exponents. In this scenario, it's fairly easy to compare these numbers. We do two things. First, compare the exponents. If an exponent is larger, then the number is larger. The second part is to compare coefficients. These numbers here are the coefficients. The larger the coefficient, the bigger the number. So in this list, we have these numbers. You might be tempted to think that this number might be larger because 2.2 is larger than 1.25 and 1.43. But the exponent is smaller. So this is the smallest number. The next largest number is this number because these two exponents are equal. If the exponents are equal, after we compare the exponents, we go to the next step, which is to compare the coefficients. This coefficient is larger than this one. Why does this happen? Why are the exponents more important? Let's look at an example. So these are the same numbers that I just gave you, only they are in standard form. And what these are actually are the measurements of the size and diameter of the three different planets. This large planet is Jupiter, this is Saturn, and this is Pluto. Notice that this number, you can see how it's smaller than the others right away. Why? Because there aren't as many place values. Excuse me. In this number, we have 2,200,000. So the 2 is higher than the 1 over here, as we saw in the previous example. The 2 is higher than the 1s. However, well, there are only 6 places after, which means regardless of how high this number is, the exponent, which is the number of places we actually carry the decimal, it was 10 to the 6th, 3, 6, it's less than these numbers here. As soon as we increase the power of 10, then the number is bigger, even if these digits are actually smaller. So just look at one more example. Let's say we had 9 times 10 to the 2nd versus 1 times 10 to the 3rd. Well, again, don't assume that this number is larger because 9 is bigger than 1. Look at the exponents first. This number is actually larger. And this number is smaller. Why? Because the exponent 3 is bigger than the exponent 2. And why does that make sense? Well, this means 1 times 10 to the 3rd power. So in fact, 10 to the 3rd power moves our decimal point 1, 2, 3 places. So we have the number 1,000. Here, our decimal only moves twice because the exponent, exponential power is 2. So here is 9 and it moves 1, 2 and we have 900. 900 is smaller than 1000. This algorithm <coughs> also kind of works for negative numbers. So let's compare negative numbers. Only, I said kind of because um, we have to kind of use the reverse logic in a way. So number one compare the exponents and then number two compare coefficients so if the exponents are positive positive exponents and we're looking to compare the numbers in fact the larger the exponent the smaller the number. This is the opposite of positive numbers. And this goes back to a basic concept that you learn on the number line, which is that as we go in different directions, let me just edit this number line really quick. So you go in different directions on the number line. Here's zero. This is the positive direction and that's the negative direction. So let's say we had a hundred and a thousand over here. And we had negative 100 and negative 1000 over here. This is 10 to the second. This is 10 to the third. This is negative 10 to the second. Excuse me. Negative 10 to the second. 
and this is negative 10 to the third. Well, the further we go in this direction, the smaller a number becomes. And notice that this exponent is larger than this one. Whereas in this one, the larger exponent is actually a bigger number. So if we go back to our rules here, the larger the exponent, the smaller the number. And then we compare the coefficients. Same idea here, the larger the coefficient, the smaller the number. Another way of thinking about it is the larger the coefficient and exponent, the more negative the numbers are. And the more negative they are, the smaller they are. Let's look at some examples. If we had negative 1.2 times 10 to the second, negative 3 times 10 to the second, and negative 3 times 10 to the fourth. Well, we compare the coefficient, the exponents first and 4 is the largest. That means this number equals the smallest. And in fact, if we expanded it, we get negative 3 and then 4 zeros, negative 30,000, a very negative and small number. And this number here, this is kind of the middle number. And if we wrote it in standard notation, we get negative 3 times 10 to the second, two zeros, we get negative 300. Now this number is actually the largest. And even though the coefficient is the smallest, the, uh, the coefficient is the smallest, because here the exponents are equal, but the coefficient is smaller. So it's 1.2 times 10 to the second, move the decimal point twice. Negative 120 is less negative than negative 300. It is the largest number.